what is up guys welcome back to my channel i forgot what i was gonna say it is currently 10 30 a.m 10 30 ish around there and i'm still like half asleep like i mentioned it before i don't know if it's due to this thing that's going on that i feel tired af but i feel tired af i'm currently drinking my coffee in my favorite cup i'm trying to stay awake even though it's like kind of late my son is still sleeping like always but by the title of this video y'all should already know what's gonna be about i currently have my well what i do with my meat I like to leave it out. Leave it out. <laughs> I like to put it in water para que se desangre. So, how do you say that in English? So, like, the blood comes out? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I like to do that so the meat can, like, get cleaned or something like that. I don't know how you say it, but... If you understand me, you understand me, okay? <laughs> so I like to do that that way, like, I don't know. I feel like it's, like, how do I say this? I'm so fucking lost right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's to have better taste or whatever, just so it could be cleaner. Let's just keep it like that to make it cleaner. So I am going to be making caldo de res, as you all already noticed. So, keep on watching today's video. Let me just wake the F up. It's still a little early to start making it. So, therefore, I'm enjoying my coffee slowly. But I do want to mention that I am still going to be doing that Q&A video. I have your guys' questions. I did get a couple more thanks to those people. That doesn't sound right either. I can't even talk right now. Thanks to the people, what am I saying? Thanks to, to all of you that did send me more questions on my second try. I don't think I'm going to go for a third try because I'm probably going to get annoying and stuff like that. But I do have a few more questions. I did get a few more questions and I should be doing a Q&A really soon. Let me just tell you all, I just haven't found the Maruchan. Literally, no maruchan. And then I see like a few here and there in the store. Pero el sabor no es de mi agrade. De mi agrado? Is that how you say it? I think so. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should do like a, like una botanita, like um, una fruta picada con chilito, sal y limón, maybe? I don't know. But I do have that Q&A video coming up. I mean, I haven't made it, but I am going to be making it. Let me just figure it out. What I should do. Mira, yo nada más, o sea, podría estar haciendo otra cosa con ese Q&A. Podría estar haciendo otra cosa, pero quiero tragar. <laughs> well, at least fruta isn't so bad, right? But y'all should comment down below what I should eat while I'm doing the Q&A video with y'all. Comment down below. Ah, so yeah, I'm gonna be drinking my coffee porque está bien bueno. I need a different creamer though. But yes, I do have my meat over there in the, what do you call it? I look at it like it's gonna re respond to me, huh? Like, ahorita te voy a contestar que es lo que soy. But I have it over there by my. Ay, ¿cómo se llama? <laughs> Why am I not freaking cooperating? I have it in the sink. So, yeah, I'm just going to give it a few time. Like I said, I left it overnight. So it should be good by now. But I feel like it's too early to be making my color right now. Um. I should start chopping my veggies. I don't really want to show you all my chop, chopping. 
Yeah, because it's not shopping. My shopping list is... How do you say it? I cannot talk right now. Like, I don't want to show you the whole process of me chopping because I'm basically going to be just using the carrots, potatoes, calabacitas, elote. I think that's it. And you'll see, my my color de camarón, you'll see, I'm pretty much going to be using the same veggies. Um, Yeah. Okay, guys, so these are going to be my ingredients, as you can tell. My meat, like this is how it was, but this is the bone part right here. So now it's all, let me flip it over. Now, most of it is like all like clean and stuff like that. So that's good. <laughs> clean my hands and then I am gonna be using corn I do have a little bit of cauliflower so I'm gonna be using that as well my carrot what's this thing called what's this thing called repollo <laughs> and then I'm gonna be using some broccoli calabacitas I'm going to be using some garlic cloves, which I'm going to put in the caldo, and some cilantro as well. And that's going to be all my ingredients for this caldo de res. So let me go ahead and wash all these veggies, start chopping them, and then I'll get back to you guys, okay? Okay guys, update on my caldo de res right there. As y'all can see, I did add the meat, some onion, cilantro, and the corn. And as y'all can tell, like, I'm going to be using the wrong spoon, but I'm going to be using a spatula instead of a spoon. That's what I meant. But as y'all can see, like, see, there's like nothing on the top. And that's what I mean by like, you have to leave it out or in the refrigerator however you like it in cold water so like all of that blood can come out because as y'all can i don't know if y'all have done caldos before or if you're watching this and you've done caldos when you don't clean out the meat well like brown brown stuff which it's the blood supposedly starts building up around around your pan Oh yeah, whatever you call it, um, around it, and that brown stuff stuff starts ugh, that brown stuff starts building up, and then you have to like you know basically take it out. But when you leave your um, meat overnight um, on cold water, trust me, it's gonna come out way better, and you don't have to deal with all that blood. I hate that, like it's ugh. But yeah, see. Now I'm just going to cover it so it can go to a boil. And then once it's boiling for like, I'm going to say, I have to let, like, let it be there on the stove for like about an hour to an hour and a half. And then that's when I could start um, adding the veggies. And I'm going to be adding like, I'm going to first be adding like the carrots and then I'm going to leave like the softer veggies, the ones that like get cooked within like five minutes till the end. So um, since the meat and the corn take about pretty much the same amount of time to boil, I mean not to boil, to freaking cook. So that's why I have both of those together and I did add the onion and the cilantro as well. I did add a garlic clove. It's somewhere in there. I added it so it can give, you know, that garlic flavor and some salt as well so yeah this is an update and i will be back to show you all how it's going so update this is what my caldo is has turned to into whatever like i mentioned before i didn't want to show you all like what's it called um the process of me cutting up the veggies um i just added um Carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, calabacitas. I don't know how you say that in English. 
<laughs> and then repollo as well. I forgot to show you guys earlier that I added potatoes. They're somewhere in here. Um, hello, potatoes. on this done. They're somewhere, but this is like. Let me see if I can find one. There it is. There is two pieces. And that's how my caldo is looking, guys. My meat is super soft right now. I'm just waiting for it to go into a boil. All the meat is on the at the bottom. And and you can um choose to add any kind of veggies that you'd like. This is just what I like to put in it and you can put any kind of veggies that you'd like. See, let me try to grab a piece for y'all to see how soft my meat is. See, like it comes off really quick. So therefore, I'm just waiting for it to go to a boil. And that's about it, guys. What do y'all think about mi caldo de res? I just need to make the rice. Oh, and the elotes. They're also at the bottom as well. Se están escondiendo. Es como que vamos a pescarlos. Vamos a pescar los elotes. There's a few pieces in there, but I don't want to mix everything like so much because then it's going to like, you know, get all weird. But that's what my condo looks like. Um, Let me go ahead and do my rice because I haven't done it. And then I can show you guys what it looks like on a plate. Hopefully this time I don't forget, guys, okay? Because soy bien buena para que se me olvide, to be honest with you guys. So let me go ahead and start making my rice, and then I'll catch up with you guys. Guys, okay, so I do have my oil ready, and I'm just going to dump for... I'm just doing this to show you all that for every one cup of rice... You do need to put double the amount of water. So that is why I want to show you all. In case y'all don't know how to write make rice. I'm not saying it in a bad way, okay? Nada más les quiero enseñar un poco. And I do want to tell you guys something else. Bear with me. I don't know about y'all, but I would always buy the rice, the brand Mahatma, Mahatma, however you say it. And it was a right in whatsoever, you know. But when all this virus thing started going on, you know, people went to the stores and literally took everything. So therefore, there wasn't a lot to choose from. And I came up to this rice right here, the one that I am currently making. Let me show you which rice I am talking about. It's this rice. The Walmart brand Great Value Jasmine Rice by Home Mali. I don't know how you say that, but that. And it's, you know, it's a store brand. And I'm just like, why didn't I buy this a long time ago? Because to be completely honest with y'all, I think this one is better than the Mahatma. I don't know about y'all. Comment down below in the comment section what if you have tried this rice and the one that I used to use. Um, like I said, this is only my opinion. But to be completely honest with all of you, I love this one way more better. And I mean, it's obviously cheaper if you think about price. But... The quality is so much better, to be honest with y'all. So, comment down below what y'all think, if you have tried it or not, and yeah. But for now, I'm going to be frying this. So, let me go ahead and stir this around, and then I'll keep you guys updated on how my rice is coming now, okay? So, I have officially blended my ingredients, which is... What I'm going to put on here, my rice is ready. I think it's ready. Huh? No se crean that it's ready. But and I'm just going to be dumping this in there. Okay. 
Ay, wait. No estaba enseñando. Sorry, guys. There's that. And then, let me go ahead and put the lid on. And just, as soon as you put the lid on there, literally just let it sit there for, like, the next 20 minutes. Like, don't touch it. Don't do anything. And trust me. Trust me. It's gonna turn out perfect. I'm over here, like, sweating and shit. Let me find out. And it's gonna come out bomb, guys. Like, really bomb. All you have to do is moles, tomatoes, lechas, caldo de pollo, the, the, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. It's the marca No. If I'm not mistaken, let me find out. I just don't want to give you guys the wrong description, whatever. Oh, anyway. Right here. Yeah, it's No. Right here. Caldo de pollo, caldo con caldo de pollo, whatever. And that's literally all you add on here, on there. And you just let it sit on there for the next few minutes. And you should be all done. You guys want to see my caldo? It's still... Oh, it's hot. It is hot. I'll show you guys when I serve it on the plate. Okay, guys. So let me go ahead and finish this with the rice. And then I'll show you guys how my rice came out, okay? Para que vean que my rice looks a bomb. Ta-da! Last but not least, this is what my plate looks like. Let me show you all. And my rice is at the bottom. Tengo la verdurita y todo. Guys, let me taste this, okay? Let me taste it. Excuse the lightning. It's not so good. It's kind of dark now. I was waiting for the hubby, but he's still working. So I'm like, mm, I'm hungry. So your girl is going to eat by herself. Bombness. Not just because I made it, but it's bomb. Let me try a piece of meat. Guys, the meat is really soft. Oh, I just need to put lemon. Stupid. I need to add lemon. Half avocado. I don't know if I should add avocado. I think I am, but let me taste the meat. It's nice and soft. Let me show you how let me show you how soft this is. So it's right here. If I can get to it. Ay Dios mío. So see that's the meat in the inside. It's nice and clean. I'm trying to multitask over here, guys. So sorry. Oh. So let's see how easy it's it is to break through it and then the repollo. Excuse the noise over there. My dog, he's eating some caldo as well. This is bomb, guys. I just need to add limon and avocado and that's some period. This is my dinner for today. I think it's not warm no more, but guys, this is fire. Oh, I need to add chile tapatillo. Mmm. Todavía no tiene el avocado, the lemon, and the tapatillo, and it's already bomb. And it's still bomb like that. It's so bomb, guys. Literally. Bonus. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and add the avocado, lemon, and tapatio, and I will be right back. So I already added my avocado, lemon, and tapatio. This is what it looks like so far, guys. I fucking love avocado. 
on my food, but I can't I can't eat it by itself. Like it has to be with something, because I can't eat it by itself. But I did put half an avocado <laughs> on my plate, but my plate is stuffed right now <laughs> because I have like the like it's probably you can't probably tell right there, but I have like smaller plate. And I don't have like the big bowls, so it's all right, all like all jammed in there. But let me go ahead and give this guy a taste now so let me flip it over my lightning is so bad at night i'm trying to get the meat as well and see what this goodness tastes like mm. This is fire. Mm. Comment down below how you guys make your caldo. Not how you guys make it, but what you guys, um, what veggies you guys use for your caldo. I like to put any random veggies, especially um, cauliflower and broccoli. Mm. I'm not too well with chayote, but anything else is like, mm. bombness guys, this is bombness. I also love to put like a lot of lemon. Give me a napkin. Wait a minute, looking at the camera. Guys. Se los recomiendo. Vengan a visitarme. <laughs> By the time you guys come visit me, this will be gone. <laughs> this is... Mmm. Me not knowing how to eat. Mmm. Guys, I am going to enjoy this. This deliciasura, how do you say it? I don't know how you say it, but I'm going to enjoy this. And I will see you all later. Okay, so last but not least, thank you all for watching my cooking video. Stay tuned for my next video, which I am hoping, hoping, crossing my fingers, that it would be the q and A. I am, I am what do you call it? I am, dang, I suck, right? I'm getting everything, like, together to see, like, getting my questions all together and stuff like that, but stay tuned for that one. And, and like I mentioned, comment down below what kind of veggies you guys use for your calor de res. And may, I think some people don't use their, um, don't do rice or something like that, but comment down below. If you guys have time, and like I always say in my, all my videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my video if you haven't. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And stay tuned for my next video. Until next time, guys. Bye. Love you all.